Okay. Um, this will be my third video and third example in uh, the topic about finding the standard and general equations of a circle. Now, we have here different conditions of the circle and we're still going to find the values of all the equations of the circle in the standard form and in general form. At the same time, we're going to sketch the graph of a circle. Yung first two examples, given ang center at given ang radius. Ito, itong ating third example, iba ang conditions ng circle. Ang first condition, given ang center, pero hindi given ang radius. Okay? And the second condition natin, tangent to the y-axis. Anong ibig sabihin ng tangent to the y-axis? Ibig sabihin nun, yung circle natin ay magta-touch o mag intersect dun sa ating y-axis at a single point. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng tangent. Tatama yung ating circle dun sa y-axis sa isang point lamang. Kasi pag nag-intersect ang circle sa dalawang points, hindi na yung tatawagin tangent, tatawagin na yung second. So ganito yan. Ano? As an illustration, pag sinabing tangent, Let's say ito yung line. Oops. Yan. Yan yung tangent. The line is tangent to the circle. Or the circle is tangent to the line. Ito yung tinatawag natin uh, tangent line. At itong point na to, isang point lang yan. Tinatawag natin point of tangency. At yung radius ng circle, kapag uh, kinonect natin doon sa point of tangency natin, yung line and the circle, this is always perpendicular to the tangent line. Ibig sabihin, the radius uh, is perpendicular to the tangent line. Their angle of intersection is 90 degrees. Yan. Yan po ang ibig sabihin ng tangent. Okay. Pag sinabing second, yung circle natin, o yung line natin, nag-intersect sa circle sa dalawang point. Ito yung tinatawag nating second line. Ito yung ating tangent line. Okay. Yan. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, dalawang conditions, given ang center, at yung circle, tatama dun sa y-axis. Okay. Paano ba makukuha ang standard form o general form? Dapat alam ang center at alam ang length of the radius of the circle. So, hindi pa natin makukuha ang standard equation o general equation kasi wala tayong uh, length of the radius. Yun muna ang ating isosot. So, gawa muna tayong illustration para makita natin kung ano itsura na nagtangent yung circle doon sa y-axis. Dito tayo sa kabila. Okay. So, dito pa. Yung ating y-axis. Yung ating x-axis. Locate natin yung center. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yan. Ito yung ating center. Yung ating circle. So, ibig sabihin, kung tatama yung ating circle dun sa ating y-axis, so, papaganito siya. Kung ito yung radius natin, perpendicular dapat siya dun sa y-axis. Kasi yung y-axis natin, siya yung ating tangent line. Okay? So, ito yung ating tangent line. So, naandito yung circle natin. And the radius is perpendicular to the tangent line. So, naandito yung ating radius. Perpendicular sa tangent line. Angle of intersection is 90 degrees. So therefore, the length of the radius is just 
this horizontal segment connecting the point of tangency and the center of the circle. So if you're going to determine the length of the radius, mapapansin natin, makukuha natin just by counting yung ating uh, scales dito, yung mga units. So we have 1, starting from the center, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, until dun sa kanyang tangent line, which is the y-axis. So mga tweed, ang length ng radius natin ay 5 units. Okay. Okay na. So, ibig sabihin, ang graph ng circle natin will be 5 units here, 5 units upward, 5 units downward. We can construct the graph or we can sketch the graph of this circle. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Nahin na natin yung letter C. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Somewhere here. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Somewhere here. So, ito. Ayun, tangent siya doon. So, ito yung ating sketch ng ating circle. So, this is our answer para dun sa ating letter C. Ito yung graph ng ating circle. Since we already know uh, the radius, the length of the radius of this circle that is tangent to the y-axis. Ito yun, ito yung tangent line, the y-axis. We can now determine letter A and letter B using... Uh, the standard form of circle with center at hk, which is square of x minus h plus square of y minus k equals r squared. Here, the value of your h is 5, the value of your k is negative 6, and the length of the radius is 5 units. Plug in natin, so we have x minus 5 squared plus y minus minus 6 squared equals 5 squared. Okay? We have x minus 5 squared and then uh, we can simplify this. We have negative negative 6. The result is positive 6. y plus 6 squared equals 25. So this is now your general equation of a circle. Okay. This is your SE. Now, letter B, we're going to solve for the general equation. Paano general equation? We're just going to expand the square of x minus 5 and square of y plus 7, then transpose 25 to the left side of the equation. So that will become your general equation. So starting from c square of minus 5, using special products, it, uh, the expanded form will be trinomial. That is the square of x minus the product of this x and 5 times 2. That will become negative 10x. Square of 5 is 25. And then the second binomial. Square of y is 25. Product of 6 and y. Or twice the product of 6 and y is 12y. And plus 36. Then transpose 25. To the left side, that will become negative 25 equals 0. And then we arrange all of the terms and we combine like terms. We have x squared plus y squared. Then followed by the x term, which is negative 10x. Followed by the y term, which is 12y. Then we combine. So we can cancel out 25 and negative 25. Resulting to 36 as the only constant term here equals 0. So this is now your general equation. 
up this circle with center at 5, negative 6. And this circle is tangent to the y-axis. So this is your general equation. Okay, so that is our example number 3. In finding the standard and general equation to the circle given different conditions of the circle. Thank you.